Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Excel. So what we're going to do is create a little spreadsheet um, under the guise of a shopping spree. Okay, so I'm giving you, Mr. Fleming is very generous here, 2,000 Flem bucks. And Flem bucks conveniently are the same as Canadian dollars. So what I want you to do is sort of create a spreadsheet showing you how, me how you're going to spend all that money. Okay. Now, of course, there's a few other little rules here. Um, one of them is that you have to buy at least five items. You can buy more. Okay. Obviously, they can't add up to something more than five thousand dollars. Or sorry, two thousand dollars, two thousand plum bucks. But uh, you have to buy at least five items there. Now, you have to spend almost all of it, but you can't spend more. You can't spend more than two thousand plum bucks. Okay. You've got to spend uh, either two thousand plum bucks or a little bit less. So I guess that you could spend, you know, 1,950 flim bucks. You can't have more than $50 or 50 flim bucks left over. Okay. You could include tax there. So we'll just make it easy and assume that everything has 12% tax. And I'll show you how to calculate that on the spreadsheet. Um, the other thing is you have to make sure you use formula. Okay. And that's the biggest thing with Excel. I don't want you grabbing your calculator or grabbing your phone and manually typing these things in, okay? We're gonna get uh, Excel to do it for us. And the layouts, right, should look something similar to here. So we've got a title, we've got some sort of things to start off with. We've got some titles for the columns and then a description for each item as we work through. So let's go take a look here at Excel and get something like this. So Excel, um, should you can download it onto your uh, computer at home. It's free with our Microsoft account. And I'm just going to open up a new one and it's going to be a blank workbook. Okay. And so when I come to here, let's just take a look at what's going on. Stuff up here looks a bit like uh, what you're used to with Microsoft Excel. And we'll use some of these. There are a lot of other things up here we're not going to worry about today. Um, but, you know, Excel is a very powerful tool probably one of the most powerful tools um, that, that uh, Microsoft has. And probably it's, I would, you know, with Word, it might be a little bit more popular, but Excel is definitely up there as well. Now, A, B, C, as you can see, works your way across. So these are columns, these vertical ones, and they have a letter to designate each column. On the other way, right, as I go down here, so representing each row, each horizontal row is a number. So each cell, and these are called cells, have a specific letter, number, sort of combination name to describe them, okay? What we're gonna do first here is give a name. And so I'm gonna do one little thing that you've probably never seen in Word because it doesn't exist, um, merge and center. Those are really useful for, uh, um, you know, for titles and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, I can click back in here and I can type the top, so I'm going to call this, what do I call it? Shopping spree. Oops. Good. And press enter or whatever, it goes to the next thing. If I click on here, okay, I mean, I can use my mouse and highlight this. Just a second here. I guess I can't highlight it there. Highlight it here, shopping spree. And I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. You can see it getting bigger there and maybe bolding it as well. And Excel sort of brought that down. So you can see how this column is a little bit bigger than the other one. That's fine. Yeah, so I can do that, move it around. So you can actually change the height or the width of these columns. A couple other things. Let me just bring this up so I can actually see. Oops, not that, sorry. There we go. I'm just going to move that off to my other window so I can see it, make it the same. I'm going to put in like the budget here. And we'll talk about formatting in a second. If I'm going too fast, just slow, slow the video there or stop it. 12, and I'm going to put the percent in there as well. Now, just like you can sort of click and drag and highlight things. So I'm going to click both of these. So I'm going to click and drag down. Now I've got both of those highlighted, and I'm going to bold them. Okay, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about other formatting. Next thing I'm going to do is just come down to this one, and I'm going to start putting in the titles here of the columns. And they'll match up with the ones on yours. So I'm just going to pause it here and then come back when I finish. All right. So I just sort of finished all of those there. And um, you'll notice a couple things that don't look quite right. Some of them are missing, right? There's, there's, uh, you know, that sort of where did the O, uh, well, I guess O-N sort of go there, right? Where did the E go? 
Now, they're there, but they're just sort of being overlapped by these columns. So like I was mentioning, if you come up to the top and you can see the double arrows sort of exist, I can start changing the size of these. So if I click and bring it over, now you can see the full name. Okay, um, if I double click right on the column, it will also sort of auto size. Now some of them, like if I did this one, okay, just double click there, it's kind of maybe too wide, I, I, and I can play with the editing after. Um, I'll show you another little trick here. You can wrap the text. So what I'm gonna do is click on the wrap text. Now nothing happened there, but if I bring this in, you'll notice oops, remaining disappeared. But that's just because I can bring this down and then there it is. Now what I'd usually do with this one is I just highlight it all. So again, click and drag, and then I can center vertically, center horizontally, and then I can, you know, format if I want to. So maybe make it a little bit bigger or something. Now, I'm gonna play around with these as I do things, okay? Um, as I sort of add my stuff, because some of that will be too small, like the image, I'm not gonna be able to fit my image in there. Just before I do that, so I'll go shopping. I mean, I'm gonna to have to have at least five items, so let me put in some numbers here. Now you could go one, and I'm just going with a down arrow, two, three, you could do that. Now that's fine for five items. Let me show you a little trick. If you put your mouse, do you see that little sort of green um, box sort of at that corner? If I put my mouse over top of it, and I drag it down. Now, I'll just show you here. It didn't do exactly what I wanted. It just put one zip. Okay, no problem. I'm just gonna press Control Z or undo. If I hold the Control key and put my mouse over that box, you see how there's a little plus? And if I drag that down, now it filled those with numbers. Now let's take a look at uh, purchasing something. So you can use any website you want to purchase things. Um, I'm just gonna grab, just grab a little window here. Go to Amazon, and we'll go to the deal store today. Okay, so what's in the deal store? Let's see. I'll go shopping for anything that jumps. Oh, look at those nice little slippers. Mrs. Fleming needs some nice little slippers there. I'm going to buy her some. So let's click on those. Oh, let's see. Red, red slippers? Sure. Ah, that was a little bit more than it was before, but $33.99. Hopefully they have her size. We'll assume they do. Um, and I'm going to take a picture of it. So first thing I'm going to do is, well, let's sort of fill out. It's called Ultra Dissern Slippers. Okay, I'll just call it like that. I could write it out or Control C. That's going to copy. Item name. I'll put it in there. Now the size might be a little bit too big. I think I'll just go and reduce the size there of that. I'll deal with the formatting after. And again, maybe um, I'll bring this over a little bit, make that a little bit wider. And then maybe it looks like it's wrapping the text already. So that looks pretty good there. Okay, image. I'm gonna definitely gonna need some more image there, bigger size, so that's probably pretty good. Let me show you a little trick here. So I've got a part of the web page that I want to um, you know, uh, use. So if I use the snipping tool, so what I'm gonna do is type in snip and snipping, so S-N-I, P-P-I-N-G, click on that. What happens is it brings up this little window, and what's really cool about it is you just go new, the whole screen sort of goes a little bit white, a little bit opaque, and then I take my cursor, and I just draw a little box. Let me try it again there. It's not quite far enough over. Around that sliver. There, that's pretty good. Maybe get the fuzziness. There we go. And then again, it's just saved into my memory, just like copying something. And I'm just gonna paste it in here. Control V. And I can just change the size. And see if I can fit it in there. Perfect. Okay, description. What are these? These are lovely, warm, red slippers to keep my wife's toes toasty this winter. She always complains about having cold feet, so there. Again, I don't want to have that covering over that, so I'm just going to go Merge and Center. Oh, no, Merge and Center, sorry. <laughs> Undo that. Wrap text, and there we go. Okay, now let me just pull this down a little bit there. Good. And again, maybe the formatting, bring it up there. The store, this was Amazon. 
so you can just tell me where you got it. And again, you know, these all of these I might highlight and just center it vertically there. Okay, price. What was it? $39.99? $33.99. We'll assume shipping's in there and stuff. $33.99. And the quantity. Well, I'm only gonna get one. Okay? Now you could buy more than one thing. Okay, we'll talk about this in a second. So then we want to do our subtotal. Now what our subtotal is, is you know, if I did buy two, how much would that cost? Well, it would be twice, <laughs> if I didn't have two dots there, twice that price, right? It would be $33.99, so it's basically $34 times two, maybe about $68, $69.98, right? So what I want to do though, is not use my brain to do the calculation. I don't want to use my phone or a calculator to do the calculation. I want Excel to do the calculation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the equal sign. So I'm going to in my subtotal uh, cell. I press the equal sign. And then what I do is I say, well, what do I want to do? Well, I want to multiply the price times the quantity. Now, I don't type in 33.99 and I don't type in 1. What I do is I type, I click this cell and then I press times. And you know times button on your on your uh, computer is that sort of asterisk times the quantity and then once I'm happy with the formula I press enter and it says 33.99 now the beauty of this is that if I say ah oh, I want another pair I just change this to two and it does it right away or I go back and I check and I complain to Amazon that hey it said 28.99 that was probably a different color but if I type this in, again, everything changes. So that's the beauty of, a, a, you know, once you get your spreadsheet working out, you, everything sort of works. You just have to put in, say, a number, and it all sort of uh, changes. Tax, let's continue on here. Tax is equal to, uh, so the, the subtotal, so we'll take the subtotal, times, and we'll just calculate the tax. Now, what we can do is we don't have to write this out again, we can just use this here. So I'm going to click on this one. And it's 478. We'll fix that up in a second there. And then the final, well, what I mean by the final is it's going to be this plus this, the subtotal plus the tax. And we get this. Okay. Budget remaining. Well, we want to see how much more money we have left. So if this is $38, right, I'm going to have this minus this to give me that. So I'm going to go dun, dun, dun. and I've got $1,961. Now, um, what I might want to do is make sure that these are money things. So what I'm going to do is just sort of go like that. And you can see up here, you can do general. So you could change that to all like that. And notice how it nicely deals with the pennies there. And maybe this one too, right? I'll just sort of do all this and do that. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to just do two things here. So let's just do something else. Um, and then, whoops, let's buy something from Amazon. So let's go back. Uh, there, where was it here? There it is. Ah, uh, what else is on special today? Do, 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 do. Uh, um, eyebrows. There we go. Eyelashes, or not eyebrows. Eyelashes. Mr. Fleming needs some eyelashes. 2022. 20, okay, so magnetic. Do they stick to your eyes with magnets? Hmm. Sounds scary. Okay, I'll just put that. No glue. I guess that's good. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Okay, so again, <laughs> reduce the size. That fits nicely. Uh, again, take a picture of it. So this, grab my snipping tool, five different lengths, ooh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can get like longer and longer as the week goes on, maybe, sounds good, okay, paste it in there, control V, and just get the size, now this one might be a little bit different, so I'll pull this down, I've noticed my one and two, these numbers are kind of looking bad, I should do it to all of them, but I'll just do that, okay, so, uh, uh, maybe my eye, eyelashes, I guess there's not eyebrows, eyelashes even better looking than 
they already are. Okay, again, now I, I could fix this problem by doing this whole column and putting on that wrap text. Okay, there we go. And making sure that they're centered this way. I don't want it this way there. There we go, that's pretty good. Uh, this is an Amazon as well, I should have done that. What was this, 20 something? 20, 2022. Okay, so again, so this one worked out better, one. Now, I could go and do the same thing with the formula, but just like I did over here when I did those numbers, there's this little plus, okay, right there. If I drag that down, what it actually does is it brings the formula down. Now, we're going to see a little problem here when I do that with this one, and I'll fix this up in a sec. Ooh, it says it's the tax is nothing. Well, we know the tax should be something different. So the trouble with this is when I pulled this one down, it went F6, G6, and then it went F7, G7. So it went one row down because Excel kind of knows, oh, you're probably multiplying, adding in the same row, okay? Now, when I did this one, it was H6, J3. J3 is up here. H7, J4. Ah, there's the problem. It started to try to calculate with this one. So what I need to do, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to go back up to this one up here. I'm going to put little dollar signs in front of this. Okay, so front of the J, in front of the 3, and that makes it fixed. So what's now what I'll do is I'll bring this one down. You'll see that this is J3, this one stays J3. Okay, and the last little bit here, pull this one down, and then 2265, so that seems right. And now this formula I have to modify a little bit more because I'm not going to go to the first one. I'm going to go to this one minus this one and press enter okay and i'll just let me center all these vertically i'll just sort of bring this down good now i'm going to pause it here do one more just to sort of show you and then we'll sort of finish up with some totals there and a few little editing things okay so just give me a second so i'm going to pause it okay so let's just assume that um we were basically done here. So I bought some cat clippers. I didn't know we had ever had to cut cat hair, but anyways, um, again, right, one item. And just to show you that it all works now, if I drag this down, the subtotal, okay, 2149 looks good. I drag this one down here, tax looks good. This looks good, 2407, we added those two together. And then this, we should be down to about one, you know, 115 or so like that right yeah nine, sorry 150 one, 1915 right 1915 dollars okay so i still have lots to spend um i've spent about 85 dollars i've got quite a bit more to spend let's just assume that i had done everything another cool thing with um, um you know excel is it's really really easy to add things up so what i'm going to do is just come down under here yeah, maybe i want to figure out how many items did i buy in total up here, there's an auto sum. Just click on it. It will highlight the column. You just press enter. I bought three items, subtotal. So how much did I spend without tax? Again, just do that. It says $75. Same thing. How much did I spend on tax? $9.08. And then this one here. And I spent in total $85, basically, $84.78. Okay, and those are my totals there. Now this one, um, this would be how much is remaining. I might want to just make this equals, okay, at the end, so I can make it equal to this guy. I don't want to sum these up. It's a nonsense number if I add them up. So maybe at the end, I, that would just show you, show me how much is remaining. A couple more things, uh, just before we finish it up here. This here is, um, you can see there's sort of a, uh, uh, you know, uh, we say borders on it, okay? So I'll show you how to do that very quickly. And then I'll just show you how to do this with a double border at the bottom, just so that you can kind of see what's happening. This one, I didn't uh, sum the totals, but you, you, you can, okay? And I'll just show you why this is really useful. So I'll just, let me just put in totals here. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all these with a bold, okay? To put those borders around it, all I have to do is I can highlight everything like that. And I can come over here and I can put all borders. There we are. So these sort of lighter ones would not show up when you print it, but these darker ones would. And then last thing here, uh, one thing I noticed, this is missing the zero. So I'm just gonna make sure that those are in currency there. Now this one actually, I don't want it as a currency. So just make sure I go back and just make that general. Okay, I might center those two just to make it look a little prettier. There we go. Those are looking pretty good. And then here, I would probably put that double thing on the bottom. So just again under here, under the borders. Uh, where is it? The double bottom border. I might do that. And I might, actually before I do that, let me just put all borders first and then that double bottom border because then that will keep those ones there. So they keep separated and there it is. Okay. And that's really all you need to do. Obviously you need to buy more, okay? You'd have to buy at least two more items and you'd have to make sure that you were down to, like this number here has to be between zero and 50, okay? Um, just to show you how useful this is, if I click here and say, ah, you know, I wanna buy five of these. All the number changes and everything has changed, right? I don't have to do any more calculations everything is done for me. And that's the beauty of Excel, because you can say, well, you know, can I buy this? Can I, you know, how much is it gonna cost me? What if I buy five of them, right? You can do all these possibilities and see what, what happens, right? You don't have to sort of guess or redo the calculation again and again. Excel does that. So for personally, for me, you know, when I do budgets or I wanna see, can I afford this? Or what happens if I buy this? or whatever the case is, I can kind of see how the numbers change throughout the whole year or two years or five years. Um, it really makes things easy. I don't have to manually do it. So once I've got the formula, <laughs> and the key thing is making sure that formula is right at the start, then everything's pretty easy, okay? So hopefully you can see um, uh, the benefit of learning Excel. So go ahead. Um, and hopefully you sort of followed along a little bit. Make your, make your spreadsheet look pretty good. Uh, you know, worry about the formatting a bit. Make sure it looks uh, decent. And then, um, yeah, make sure you spend all your flum bucks or, well, almost all of them for sure. Okay, good luck with that. And uh, again, let me know if you've got any problems, but this should be pretty straightforward, I hope.